Hello everyone. Here we are going to continue with the exercise 6.1 of the chapter operations on sets. We have already did till question number 6 in our previous video. Now let's do question number 7. Now here we are having question number 7 in which we are having the universal set from number 1 to 9. Then in set A we are having number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is not there, 6, 7, 8 and 9 is also not there. Then in B we are having 4, 6 and 8. Now we have to find A complement. A complement means we have to write all the numbers which are not there in the set A but are there in universal set. So we are having 1, 2, 3, 4 is already there. So we are left with 5. Then 6, 7, 8 is there. So we are left with 9. Then for the B complement, we are not going to write 4, 6 and 8 and rest of them we are going to write over here. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4 is there, so 6, uh, 5, 6 is also there, so 7, 8 is there, so 9. Then we have A union B, means you have to just write all of them together. So here we can see that 4 is there, 6 is there and 8 is there. So it will be just the set of A only. It is 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. Then we are having the intersection. So as we see that 4, 6 and 8 are common in both of it. So we'll be having 4, 6 and 8 over here also. Then we are having A minus B. In case of the A minus B, we are not going to write all the common terms from the set A. So we will be left with 1, 2, 3. Then 4 is already there. 6 is there. 8 is there. So we are left with 7. So we have got 7 over here. Then we are having B minus A. In case of B minus A, all the terms of B are there in the set A. So we'll be having an empty set over here. We can write this one or we are going to make this sign. Then we have to find A intersection B to the complement. Matlab A intersection B mein jo numbers hai, unke alawa jo bhi number hai universal set mein, unko hum log yahan pe consider karenge. So we are having 1, 2, 3, 4 is there. So we are not going to take 4. Then we are at 5. 6 is there. So we will not write 6. Then 7. 8 is also there. So we get 9 over here. Now we have to find A complement union B complement. So A complement and B complement ka union. So we are going to write all the terms of them. So it will be 1, 2, 3, 4 is not there in any of it. So we are having 5, then 7 and then 9. Now we are moving to the verification portion of this question. And here in the first part we are having A intersection B to the complement equals to A complement union B complement. So here we are having A intersection B to the complement. So intersection B complement we are having 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 and 9 and A complement union B complement we are having 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 9. That is 1, 2, 3, 5, 7 and 9. So as they both are equal hence verified. So as the elements of both of the sets are equal, hence verified. Now let's move to the B part. Here we have to verify that N A plus N A complement equals to N universal set. So here we can write N A plus N A complement equals to N A we are having 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we can write 7 plus in A complement we are having 1 and 2. So we get 2. That is equals to 9 and in case of the n universal we are having 1 2 3 till 9 so it is 9 elements so they both are equals to 9 hence verified now here we are moving to the c part here we are having n a intersection b plus n a intersection b to the complement equals to n universal set now let's take the lhs and in this one n a intersection b plus n a intersection b complement will be equals to and a intersection b we are having 1 2 and 3 so we are having 3 plus a intersection b to the complement will be having 1 2 3 4 5 6 so we get 6 that is equals to 9 and n universal set we have got 9 elements only as 1 2 9. So we have got 9 over here. So they both are equals to 9 hence verified. Now here we are moving to the D part of this one. 
in which we have to prove that n a minus b plus n b minus a plus n a intersection b equals to a union b. So very first of all, we are going to find this one that is a minus b plus n a b minus a plus n a intersection b. And this will be a minus b we are having 1, 2, 3, 4. So we get 4 over here plus b minus a we are having 0 plus a intersection b we are having 1, 2 and 3. So we get 3 over here and that is equals to 7. Now we have to find n a union b and this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So we get 7 elements over here. So here both are equals to 7 hence verify. Now let's move to question number 8. Here we are having the universal set as x and that x is the element of whole number where x is less than equals to 10 and a is x and that x is greater than equals to 5 and the b is x that x is greater than equals to 3 but less than 8. Now very first of all we are going to find the, all the sets which we are having. The universal set as x and that x is the element of whole number where x is less than equals to 10. So we know the whole number starts from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Here we have to include the 10 as it is equals to 10. Then we have a. So the a equals to x and that x is greater than equals to 5. So we are going to take all the numbers which are greater than equals to 5 in the universal set. So we are having 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then we have b in which x is greater than equals to 3 but less than 8. So in set b will be having 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 as it is less than 8. So we are not going to include 8. Now before moving to the question in which we have to verify the various relations. Very first of all we are going to find the sum of the sets as the a complement, b complement, a union b, a intersection b, a minus b and b minus a. Now here we have a complement in which we are going to write all the terms which are not present in a but are present in universal set. So we are having 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. So we have got the a complement. Now the b complement. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ke alawa jo bhi number hai, usko hum log isme consider karenge. So 0, 1, 2, 3 is already there. 4, 5, 6, 7 and now we are going to take 8, 9 and 10. Then we have a union b. So the combination of these two, the combination of these two will be having 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. Then in the next one we are having a intersection b and the intersection b means the common of these two and the common of these two will be having 5, 6 and 7. So we get 5, 6 and 7. Then we have a minus b. In case the a minus b, we are going to write all the terms of a which are not there in b. So the common is 5, 6, 7. So 5, 6 and 7 will not be there. So we will be taking 8, 9 and 10. Then we have b minus a. In case the b minus a also, we will not be writing 5, 6 and 7 as it is already there in a. So we will be taking 3 and 4. Now we are moving to the verification portion of this question. And here we are having the first part in which a union b complement equals to a complement intersection of b complement. So we have a union b over here that 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So here we are going to take the complement of this one. So we will be writing all the terms which are not present in this but are present in universal set. So a union b complement equals to 0 is not there. So we will be writing 0, 1, 2. And 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 is there. So this is your A union B complement. Then we have this one that is A complement intersection of B complement. And this will be the intersection of these two. And the intersection of these two will be taking the common of these two. And this will be 0, 1 and 2. So here we get 0, 1 and 2. So as they both are equal hence verified. So as both of the sets are having the same elements, hence verified. Now we are doing the second part of the verification portion in which A intersection B complement equals to A complement union B complement. So here 
A intersection B. Here we are having 5, 6 and 7. The complement of this one will be A intersection B complement. We are going to write all the numbers from 0 to 10 except to the 5, 6 and 7. So we will be having 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 is not there. So 8, 9 and 10. Then we have A complement union B complement means the combination of these two and the combination of these two will include 0, 1, 2, then 3, 4, here we get 3 and 4 and now we are having 8, 9 and 10. So 8, 9 and 10. So as we see they both are equal hence verified. So here we get both the set having the same elements hence verified. Now here we are moving to the C part of the verification portion in which we have to prove that A minus B equals to A intersection of B complement. So A minus B we are having 8, 9 and 10. So here we get 8, 9 and 10. Then we have A intersection B complement. So A intersection B complement means we have to find the common of these two. So 5, 6 and 7 is not there. And we are having 8, 9 and 10 common in both. So it is 8, 9 and 10. So as they both are equal, hence verified. As the both set are having the same elements, hence verified. Now we will be doing the fourth part of this one. And here we have to prove that B minus A equals to B intersection of A complement. So very first of all, B minus A. So the B minus A equals to 3 and 4. So we have got. 3 and 4 over here. Then we have B intersection of A complement. So B intersection A complement is going to consider the common terms from this and this one. So in these two we can see that 3 and 4 are common. So we will be taking 3 and 4 from both of the sets. And the both sets are having the same elements hence verified. That's all for this video. Thank you.